Are you an empath, introvert or a highly sensitive person? Or maybe you are simply interested in self-care? If you are, then this video will be helpful to you. So, let's get started. Many people in my Facebook group ask me, how to cope with being an empath or a highly sensitive person? Well, this video is to help answer this question. In short, self-care is the key ingredient here. Self-care is an emerging industry, and has been gaining an increasing amount of popularity over the last few years. There are many different methods that can be used as self-care, but in this video, I will share with you three ways of doing so. The self-care tips shared in this video is especially helpful for people who are introverts, highly sensitive or highly empathic in nature. So, if you are any one these types of people, then be sure to watch the video till the end. Tips for self-care 1. Realize that being sensitive has its benefits. Sensitive people have the benefit of enjoying simple pleasures a lot more than others. For example, not everyone connects with music, art, food, etc. as much as sensitive people. Being sensitive makes these experiences a lot more pleasurable than they would be otherwise. 2. Avoid negative news and even entertainment. One of the best tips for self-care is to avoid negative input coming in from your environment as much as possible. The easiest way to do so is to cut down the amount of news you consume, as most of news today is negative, and even cutting down on violent or aggressive films and music. Cutting down or eliminating as much as possible negative input from your environment is also one of the easiest ways to cope with being very sensitive or even an empath. 3. Self-care is absolutely necessary. Sensitive people need to make sure that they do all they can to ensure self-care. In today's day and age, it is easy to be very busy and even distracted, which means overstimulation. This makes it necessary for sensitives to rest sleep, meditate, read, etc. My favorite self-care practice is meditation, and I recommend it to all, if you are not already doing it. This one practice can give a massive boost to your energy levels and your life overall. There it is, these are my three secrets for coping with being a highly sensitive empath. So, do you have a self-care practice yet? Type, yes or, no, in the comments section below. If I get enough comments from people interested in learning about self-care, then I will make more videos about it. Alright my friends, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any video request, let me know about that too. Also, help us reach more people by clicking the like, share and subscribe buttons. This is Empathic Vibes bringing you helpful, informative and entertaining videos. Also, if you would like to win a copy of my book, click on the link in the description below. That is all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Much love to you all and stay awesome.